All right, I want to make a video for this uh, new tool I just got. And it's the DeWalt 12 volt uh, brushless screwdriver, model number DCF601. Um, I just picked this up from Lowe's a few weeks ago and um, I've been really happy with it. And I want to talk about some things that um, other videos that I've watched didn't really talk about. Uh, I like to know a lot of stuff about my tools before I buy them and I thought I'd fill you in on some stuff that I found that I personally really enjoy with this. Um, before that I'm usually a Milwaukee uh, user. Um, you know, M18 drills, impacts, uh, mid torque, M12 drill and impact, and stubby. But even with all those and all the batteries, um, I still wanted to pick this one up mainly for <clears throat> um, kind of odds and ends stuff. Stuff where um, I want the quarter inch chuck and a clutch instead of an impact where I have no clutch or a drill where I have to mess with a chuck. Um, the quarter inch and the, and the clutch and a mechanical clutch at that compared to the Milwaukee uh, new generation of stuff being an electronic clutch, which I don't think works very well. Um, and it's not very light. This clutch is super light. Um, so first of all, the ergonomics of this tool are really, really, really good. Um, I love the Milwaukee stuff, but the, the M12 grip can be uh, pretty fat in the hand. And then the M18 stuff, where it's a skinnier grip, you have a larger battery size on there, you know, adding weight and adding rotation weight to that, trying to rotate it out of your hand. This one kind of combines the two with a thin grip and the smaller battery, which is pretty comparable to the XC batteries of the M12. Um, I found that I really like the slider pack style of the DeWalt compared to the, to the um, other style of the Milwaukee. It, it kind of gives this tool a more solid feel on the handle and the bottom of the handle and when you're operating it because that, that battery is not flexing on you. Um, if anybody uses Milwaukee, you kind of know that those um, insertion style packs, the, the tabs can loosen and kind of get kind of cruddy over time. Um, so I really kind of enjoy the solid feel of the, of the solid handle and the slider pack style. Uh, the thinner grip, um, I, don't, I have average hands. Uh, it fits really nice in my hand. And I feel that I, I really want to just use this a lot. Um, I will say that maybe if you have extra large, larger hands or hands with gloves, you might find it a little bit compact because you can kind of see with my hand there, I'm kind of at the base of that. You might have to go to an alternate kind of grip with a finger up here and middle finger pulling the trigger if you're going to have bigger hands or large gloves compared to Milwaukee where, you know, finger on the trigger. I've got plenty of space here for large gloves, which can be kind of nice. Um, handling the tool, there's no, I mean, it's very, very balanced. There's no, with like an M18, you have a big battery on there. That battery kind of extends out and kind of wants to spin out. This one is really, really balanced. Um, so I really enjoy the ergonomics, which is the main, probably one of the biggest, second biggest things I bought this for. Um, the light on this is a three ring. Three ring, three ring uh, around the end of it, which casts a really nice shadow. I'm sorry, no shadows. You can kind of see here. It kind of gives a little three point. Um, it's pretty bright. It really illuminates um, what you're working on. This is pretty true to how it looks to me, even though it's video. Um, it can definitely brighten up something that you're working on. The bigger, uh, one of the other things I bought this for was the clutch. The mechanical clutch on this is really, really great. Um, if you're working on anything, uh, screws into metal, um, you can set this on one or three or five, and you're not going to strip out a fastener on thin sheet metal. Um, whereas, like the Milwaukee, the new generation of stuff uses this e clutch. I'm not a 
fan of this at all. Um, it takes some time for that torque to kick in and then stop the drill. And on this one and the M18. And so it really doesn't do well on lighter duty stuff. So if you're one of the type of people who just like to use on full speed all the time, maybe that's not a big deal for you, but um, I kind of like my clutches here. Um, on one, it's very, very light. Um, in fact, it's so light, I used it to install a new clip. I had to get a new screw. I stripped that one out before. I had, instead of using a screwdriver, I tested this screwdriver out with it, and it didn't strip that screw, which is pretty impressive because that thing is tiny. Um, I like it also because it's very simple. There's no um, mode buttons like on an impact where you have your uh, three modes or your speed selector like in a drill. It has none of that. There's no, you can see there's no switches or buttons anywhere. You just have a variable speed trigger. And it goes very, very slow. So I believe it's, yep, yeah, 1100 RPM at its highest, which is plenty fast. Um, I use this uh, a lot for when I uh, countersink screws, uh, pre-drill with countersink or pre-drilling holes. Um, I also use it a lot with pocket holes. I mean, love them or hate them, pocket holes are pretty handy for stuff. And I use the DeWalt for the fasteners. Um, I found that like with the inch and a quarter, you can set it on like seven or eight and you don't have to feather anything. You can just drill it right in. The clutch will take over and stop the screw from over tightening and splintering your wood or, or over drilling your fastener or sorry, over tightening your fastener. Um, that's a, one other reason I bought this. Like I said, impacts don't do really good for that. The eat clutch on this doesn't work very well. And so this is like my go-to pocket hole. And it's so light, whatever position you're, you know, usually when you do pocket holes, your hands all kind of tweaked over the side, super low. This is, you know, no, if you're doing those, you're sometimes you're doing a lot. And that can be nice to have no kind of stress or strain. A um, couple little features, the collet does eject it slightly. These are a little bit longer. Um, but you can use one inch bits on this. If you have a really tight access, those will fit in there and they do kind of pop out. They don't shoot out, but they do kind of pop out. And that is kind of nice. It kind of makes it a lot easier when you're doing one-handed stuff. So um, let me think here. Uh, belt clip, it's nice, it's handy. Uh, you have a battery indicator on this, which is nice compared to Milwaukee, you don't have a battery indicator, you actually have to pull the trigger and you really have no idea. That's really handy. The kit came with two 2 amp hour batteries and a charger and a bag. I guess the battery with the DeWalt 12 volt is probably the greatest limitation that I think uh, I have with this one because I think right now they came with two amp hours, but they only offer up to three right now compared to Milwaukee. Uh, going in with six, um, that's going to affect your runtime and your power, and that might be important to me if I had the impact or drill or the you know, three eighths impact wrench. Um, but with this guy, that's not going to be a factor. Um, it's more going to affect runtime. But I'm not using this for long durations of runtime where I'm doing uh, lots of holes or you know decks or anything like that with my big. M18 over there, um, lighter duty, smaller fasteners. Uh, this is kind of like my go, this is my go-to tool now. And it's so light and compact, it fits anywhere, fits everywhere, fits on your belt. Um, so I, I do recommend this a lot. I think if that's your application and that's what you need, I think this tool will do uh, really well for you. I mean, if you're doing wood fasteners and long screws, um, these this, this will drill. Uh, this will put you know three inch deck screws down into it if you need to but I don't really think that's what it was designed for It's probably better suited to an impact 
But like I said, lighter duty, I think this will definitely uh, be a really good tool and I really enjoy using it. So I thought I'd pass along some stuff that I enjoy about it and uh, that's pretty much it. Let me think before I sign this off. Light clutch, that's it, batteries. All right, y'all, appreciate y'all stopping by. Thank you.